At the end of a leafy, nondescript suburban street in Haddonfield, New Jersey, is one of the world's most historic dinosaur excavation sites. In 1858, the fossilized bones of Hadrosaurus fulci were dug from a marl deposit here. Those bones were the first nearly complete skeleton of a dinosaur found anywhere in the world. That find allowed scientists to study and document the unique anatomy of a dinosaur for the very first time. Since 1858, the actual bones have been kept at the Academy of Natural Sciences in Philadelphia, where in 1868, Hadrosaurus fulci became the first dinosaur skeleton ever mounted in a museum. Today, the Discovery Site here on Maple Avenue in Haddonfield is a National Historic Landmark and remains in a wild state. A small stream, now called Hadrosaurus Run, meanders through the center of the deep ravine and ultimately merges with the larger Cooper River about 100 yards away. The steep banks that flank the stream consist of a sticky, clay-like marl that underlies this entire area. After heavy rains, fossilized seashells and even shark's teeth are sometimes exposed in these deposits from an ancient seabed. The street-level park-like area and the rugged ravine trail have been carefully looked after for 25 years by Butch Breeze. He's a local resident whose Eagle Scout son placed the first historical marker on this site in 1984. Ever since, he spent countless hours doing physical labor here, all for free. Uh, this site has actually become, I would consider it a part of our family. Uh, since my son did this uh, as his Eagle Scout project, we felt sort of an obligation as a family to, to, to try to help maintain this site and to try to keep it uh, as pristine as it was when he first built this. Uh, we, we view this as an extension sort of, uh, of who we are and, and what we do here in this town. Uh, in 1998, I started logging visitors to the site, and to date, the people that have taken the time to fill out a visitor registration form, uh, we're numbering about uh, 4,000 4, at this point. I think we have tracked visitors from every, every state in the Union and uh, 10 countries. Uh, we've had uh, relatives and descendants of William Parker Folk who found the original bones here. Uh, we've had uh, uh, descendants of uh, Joseph Leidy, uh, we've had paleontologists, we've had just the average citizen, people who get lost coming down this road and happen upon the site, uh, people that see the sign up at Maple Avenue and Grove Street here in Haddonfield to come down to, to visit the site just to see what this is all about. And so people are, are in awe of, of what was found here and the significance of this particular dinosaur. I would say probably 90% of the people that visit end up down in the ravine somewhere thinking that they might see a, a hadrosaurus or a, a dinosaur bone sticking out of the ravine banks. The site here is, is uh, it still looks like you've sort of stepped back in time. It's very natural. Uh, we've tried to keep it this way over the years so that people have a feeling that they're maybe back in time when dinosaurs roamed the earth. Uh, in a world of uh, where, where places are, are trashed by graffiti and, and vandalism, this site over 25 years has literally not seen any of that uh, knock on wood. <laughs> About eight to nine years ago, we started finding uh, plastic and toy dinosaurs on the bench here. And it was sort of an unusual thing. Uh, the children that uh, parents would bring down here just thought this was great. And then they started bringing more. Uh, there is a uh, a group of people that live up and down the street here that have formed a society called the Lovecraft Society and uh, they maintain no more or no less than 30 dinosaurs here at the site. Uh, I don't know who these people are, I don't know why they've done this, but the, the children uh, get a, a great kick out of arranging the dinosaurs on the bench. They never totally disappear, some disappear, but then there's other ones that reappear. So it has been sort of a, a phenomenon over the past eight or nine years since this started happening. Uh, this is actually part of the Camden County's historical trail hike also, and it is a geocache site. Geocaching.com is a, uh, uh, a worldwide high-tech scavenger hunt, so to speak, and uh, the uh, Hadrosaurus Folkii site is actually a uh, geocaching site. Uh, it's also uh, a site for letterboxing, so it actually is creating more interest uh, through various uh, different uh, websites and different media. We give a program on the uh, on the Hadrosaurus Folkii, the history, the significance, the building of the site uh, to various school groups, uh, various organizations. Uh, the, just recently the Folk family had their 310th year reunion 
and my son and I both uh, gave a presentation to the Folk family, uh, about 250 of them uh, who were gathered at the site from all over the United States and uh, uh, they were keenly interested in, in exactly what this was all about that their, that their ancestor had, uh, had found here in Haddonfield uh, on the Hopkins farm. For more information about Haddonfield and its famous dinosaur, contact the Haddonfield Information Center at phone number 856-216-7253 or email infocenter at haddonfieldnj.org. For the full story of Hadrosaurus fulci, see newjerseydinosaur.com. To exactly locate the Hadrosaurus fulci discovery site, go to google.com slash maps, then Enter Grove Street and Maple Avenue, Haddonfield, NJ. When that map appears, press the More button. This will pop a photo marker on the Hadrosaurus site at the end of Maple Avenue. And to see Haddonfield's famed bronze sculpture of Hadrosaurus, go to hadrosaurus.com. <laughs>